Game on! All the way to the bottom left, we have the ace player for Mousebots. They were in a great situation already earlier. We had them with a 2-0 lead against the Flash Wolves, and then Sun was taken out by Starbuck. The 3-1, it looked like a dream, and a dream it was. Then suddenly, it turned into a nightmare as Lenok entered the stage and was able to win against three players of his opponent's team, taking the lead for the Flash Wolves with a 4-3. And all the way to the top left, we have him. This is Lenog, of course, and he has taken down Starbuck already once, but Starbuck is the ace player for his team here. So let's see how he is going to play this time. Lenog took down two Zerg players already today, Starbuck and Vortex, and he might be able to win this one too. Lenog using his barcode ID once again, as already mentioned. This is the last match in the regular season of the Acer Team Story Cup. After this, we're going to head into the playoffs. And well, for now, it's just about drones, 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 and Starbuck. Once again, with the build that he utilized in game number one that played on merry-go-round. It was 14 gas into 14 pool, and it looks like we're going to see exactly the same thing. So there it is, all the way to the top left. What do we have here? We have the hatch being built for Linux. So Linux is going into a hatch first build. Linux is going into hatch first, and well, there it is. Uh, to the bottom left, we have now the uh, well, the pool halfway done. And with the pool halfway done, this is actually going to be one of those scenarios where we will still see the gas much, much faster for Starbuck, the queen faster for him, and he can put aggression on. If he scouted, though, Linog will be able to prepare for that. And Linog did very well in the first game that the two of them play to shut this down. He's also getting his own gas up now, and that happens even before he goes into the pool. The two overlords that we see here, of course, crossed paths in the middle to the left side, and that means that uh, they both know about the scouting po the starting position with uh, Starbuck moving in right to see what's going on at the natural here. Sees the hatch. Starbuck is getting those zerglings now, and that's something that Linog does not know. He's also not going to find out anytime soon about the uh, gas that we have there. Might see the zerglings, and yeah, sees the zerglings moving out, and that should immediately trigger his response. And Starbuck this time is going for full-on aggression. He says like, all right, last time I played it without the banning nest. This time I'm going to go and throw that down. No expansion for him just yet, whereas Linok already has his completed. So banelings it is, and now it's all about the defense for Linok. Will he be able to defend or not? Six Zerglings and a Queen are being built right away. And this is all about him defending now. A Spying Crawler would go a long way for Linok now. Starts his speed upgrade, or he could, and he does that right now. There's the Spying Crawler before he starts the speed upgrade. Exactly what he needs here. And let's find out how exactly this is going to play out for Starbuck. Because he needs to do damage, and he needs to do that fast. If he doesn't do it, then he's going to lose this game. Because he's currently way behind in the economy. Well, so far, we have seen Felino a very decent defense here. That first failing is not going to happen. That second one is not going to happen either. And we already have Starbuck with more Zergling spilled as Lenok has his Spine Crawler. And Lenok is also going into the Speedling upgrade now. So we do have speed for Starbuck, but we also see additional Queens being built. That Spine Crawler all the way at the front. The Queen starting to help out here. Second Queen coming in to block the ramp. Things are not looking good for Starbuck. Starbuck is now getting his own base, but Lenok is still the one who has two bases already. Has a double queen there at the front. Is getting a third queen in. Has the spine crawler here. Double queens being built. And can go straight for the additional harvesters. Harvester count is already better for Lenok. And yeah, Starbuck is not going to break through this anytime soon. He can bust through, of course. But that's going to cost him quite a lot of units. And we have a third queen already in position. And guess what happens once the creep tumor is done? Yep, that spine crawler is going to move forward to help out as well. So now he's starting to drone up again. And Lenok has the perfect start into this game. Like, it doesn't really get a lot better than that. It doesn't get much better than what we currently see for, for Lenok here. He has the faster expansion. He has a lot more queens than his opponent. He has a really nice defense. He's getting the uh, his uh, drone count up much faster than his opponent now with, uh, with what he has. And that base is not completed. So he's starting to saturate two mineral lines. This is exactly what Lenok needs here. 36 supply against 36. Supply block for Lenok, definitely not helping him out here. But that's a very, very solid position for him in this game regardless. 
Ah, moving back once again, and well, there we go. Queens are in position. They can make this work for now. We have also the Zerglings now rushing down to the bottom. Bailings are being built. Harvesters are now being produced for both of them. 21 against 25. Starbuck in a bit of a Harvester lead, actually. But of course, the Zerglings are now moving in, and there is not a really a lot. Could snipe a queen if he gets like a... Whoa! There's a Baneling, though, and that Baneling already working out for him. So Lino just starting to join up here. And, uh, well, the wings are going down. So currently what we see is Latex started for both of them. It actually starts to equalize a bit. Not all, yeah, resource loss is nearly the same, and it really starts to equalize. The additional queens are, well, on the other hand, for Linok, they are a big, big asset that he has. They will help him with the creep spread as an early warning system. They will help him with the defense, and he is also going to help him against potential mutilists if we see a mutilist game. Helps him against the Zergling counter-aggression. He can just drone up without any worries in the world. So far, it's a pretty solid position here for Linok indeed. Starbuck is starting to come back into this with 39 harvests against 34 now. So he has to close this gap. He's currently trying to do that. Builds a spine crawler on his own to be safe. We have additional gases already taken for Linok. Currently, more gases for him. Well... Actually, see for Starbuck nearly the same amount now that he builds another one. That Spinecrawler is being attacked and transfused. He has so much transfused energy, he should be able to keep that alive. And yeah, that's definitely going to work out for him. So he can just move forward and start and take his third base. And that's going to be a safe third at that. There are the Mutalists being built, or at least the Spires for now. So those Queens that I was mentioning earlier, they are going to help Lenok with the defense against the Mutalisks. A Baneling Nest for Lenok now as well. And uh, the Zergling still trying to move in, but not doing anything here. Harvest account, 43 against 47. That third base is going to be built eventually. The queens are already moving down here. And the block all the way at the gap. Here comes the drone about to take down that third base. The third base also being built now for Starbuck. We have in the, the top of the map all an overseer trying to spot what's happening. And he sees the spy attack. And, well, Lino didn't scout that yet as far as I know. So uh, we are currently... Uh, seeing him without any preparations against his opponent's Mutalisk. Yep, didn't scout the Spire just yet. Will maybe find out what's going on and then build a Spore Crawler. Alino now with a slight lead in overall supply, taking the third base, which Starbuck is taking as well. We have the Overlords for him. He's moving for map, both of them. The Queens are actually taking down the first one. They might be able to snipe this one as well, at least if, the, uh, if this Overlord is following it, which doesn't really look like he wants to do. Lenok is moving also in now with the uh, yeah, with the, with his, uh, yeah, few bailings that he has. Yep, no high ground vision any longer, so the Queens fall back. That Overlord could have been uh, annihilated. Nice army supply lead here for Lenok, by the way. 41 against 22. Oh, that was close. Yeah, the Zerglings definitely wanted to go into the, bail and, uh, to the main base, but the bailing was already there. So it didn't really work out for him in the end. So Mutalist count is now 7 against 5. More being built for Lenok. And also with the gases that he has taken a bit faster than his opponent. He goes into the armor upgrade. The same uh, what we see for Starbuck now. Both of them are trying to make the same style work. Now, of course the Mutalists are now starting to go straight for the... Oh, yeah, they're Mutas versus Mutas. Better numbers currently for Lenok. Saving his Overlord for now. And can take down the Overlord of his opponent. His Mutalist numbers are a bit better. Gets 1. He has 8 against 5 on the map. And shields his own overlords. So he has one overlord over here. This one he can't save. Though. This one he will not be able to save. Starbuck is supplier blocked. Lino will be supplier blocked as well. He currently is. And uh, yeah, right here we have another overlord taken out. Starbuck needs a few more. He builds four already. That overlord apparently has a death wish. Like, I have no idea why he's not moving back. Like, trying to bait out his opponent. Well, now he's going to die for it. Uh, Linok is trying to, say, to take that fight, apparently, and he can. He has, well, actually, he has uh, one meters less than his opponent. Three being built for him. That puts him up in a lead again. He has the Zerglings on the ground, though, and that's also going to help him a lot, because now we have 70 supply against 40, so it's not only about the Mutalists, it's about the Zerglings that can always just rush in and do damage to that third base, where we now have a Spine Crawler being put into position. Armor upgrades on the tap. We have now Spore Crawlers being built, trying to protect the bases. I would be surprised if we don't see one for Linux over here, and we do. And Lings and Mutalist, that's currently the name of the game. Spore Crawler count is currently, well, only one. One, one. Not many more than that. Ah, nice snipes against the Banelings here, killing two of those. Mutalist, let's have another look at that. 20 against 19. Yeah, he's losing one. 
Well played by Starbucks so far. He's supply blocked again. Let's look at that supply block time for a second. Supply block time for Linux, 126 uh, seconds. The Queen is helping out here. Can transfuse now as well, which it actually does not. A bit surprising to me. Another Queen with another win. We have now three against two being killed. Banelings against Zerglings. The attack here over at the third base. And yes, Starbuck is losing quite a lot of units there. But Lenok also lost his supply lead that he had earlier. The Queens for Lenok moved all the way across the map and is starting to transfuse again. That Spore Crawler is going to help out a lot though. 17 against 13 Mutalisks for now. Lenok is losing the Mutalisk lead that he had. He's actually losing a lot of supply in resources. Lost Starbuck. He yeah, might have lost a bit more than his opponent. But this is a pretty devastating battle for Lenok when it comes to the Mutalisk alone. And Lenok loses it. Starbuck has won the game. The Zergling aggression was met by Bane Lynx and the Spine Crawler. And the Mutalisk running into Spore Crawlers didn't help. Suddenly, it's the 4 4. It comes down to the ace match. Lenok had the lead in supply. He had the the better mutilist numbers he was moving in utilizing those zerglings on the ground but the banelings of starbuck taking them down Linux dropping in supply and now suddenly it's down to the ace play of the flash wolf it all comes down to the ninth game